Okay, you're too much help. We are tractor driving today. Welcome to my crazy life as a first generation female farmer, the Chronicles of Kayla. Just a beautiful day. The grass is starting to green up. The neighbor's wheat looks fantastic. It's gonna be a busy week of field work. I'm walking down this morning to uh, get some updated puppy pictures. If you guys are interested in Sky Rider healers, um, I'll put the link right here. You guys can go check it out. I put the grid on my camera and it's weird. It's like blinking at me. Probably because it's uneven, huh? Walking, talking, eating. We got lots to do. Lots of field work. So I hope you guys are in the buddy seat. So Jason is still spreading a bunch of lime. He's using the 5S with the Salford BBI Liberty cart. It's a 60 foot spread for lime and an 80 foot spread for fertilizer. I will probably do all the fertilizer, but for now he's doing the lime. So Keaton and I can go aerate. The babies are starting to escape. Yes. So, all right, let's see how many else are not in the pan. Ah, two more not in the pan. Hello. Mike, are you guys not in your home? Huh? Yes. Are you getting them? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get this one. Oh, he wants to play. Jalen, put her down. Open him up all of them. Oh, there you go. Come here. Come here. Come on, babies. Come here. Oh, she wants Lily. We are tractor driving today, folks. Pretty excited. Um, even if I'm not in the Massey today, I am running the 6120M because Jason has the 5S. He's running it with the lime spreader and I am aerating over here on this alfalfa field. Keaton is going to be aerating using the other aerator um, in front of Jason. So we get a combination of lots of things done today. So excited for green grass and what it entails. So I have the airway by Salford over here. Keaton is running our ranch works with the 44 on a different um, field. We're trying to utilize as much as we possibly can. I'll be honest, it really, really stresses me out to even do anything on the alfalfa. Um, obviously this is an older stand. We will probably have to do something with it um, this winter going into next season, unless we can get it to grow back. It is a mixed alfalfa. It's not um, pure anymore just because it's, you know, had a little bit of winter kill. And I honestly am not sure how old this stand is. Um, eight years maybe now. So it's been here for a while. But the alfalfa is starting to grow and that makes me a little nervous. I don't know, I guess that's just me. I know we need to do it. I know we need to break up the compaction. I know we need to get the root system um, and the water down when we do get rain. We are still very much in a drought. But Jason is going to be getting ready to lime these fields and then hopefully I'll be getting some fertilizer on as well here in the next couple of weeks. That's been our ideal goal. It's also why we are um, running both aerators. I really want to do some like comparison because there's things about each one that we really like. Obviously we bought the air the ranch works one and this airway is a demo with Salford. We're not going to judge Kayla's lines because we don't have GPS set up in this tractor. And I'm having to raise and lower the airway according to like how the field is so we don't tear it up. We don't want a lot of dirt clods sitting on top. We just want to break up that root system and the compaction. I need a snack and then I'm going to get out and actually talk to you guys a little bit about alfalfa in itself. Okay, so I really haven't ran this tractor for a long, well, really, at all, since we got the 5S. Keaton usually runs it with the rake. We've ran it with the mixer wagon all winter. It's a great little tractor. 
I just prefer my Massey, honestly, because the Massey is super comfortable. But Jason has it at the moment. I'm eating, and I turned the tractor off so I could talk to you guys a little bit about the alfalfa. But it is super, super windy outside today. And I forgot to bring, like, the camera with the muffle, the rat tail, as Jason calls it. But I'm starting to feel sad for, Ro for Roxy, who is chasing me around, who is waiting for me to put her in the tractor. Can you hear the wind? Come on, Roxy! Are you ready to get in? No, I really don't like you jumping. Come on. Come on, get in. Yeah, she's not quite as good as Ryder about getting in. Okay, so this is your little bitty alfalfa plant. Uh, did you know that it shoots off new every year? The roots can go down to like 16 to 24 inches and look like small trees. Actually, the roots are probably like the size of my finger. But each, each spring and each cutting, they shoot off new roots. Or not roots, but new sprouts. And the crowns. Can you guys hear me? Probably not. That's a good one. Are you going to be in the way? You're a lot bigger this year. You're going to try really hard, aren't you? This tractor, when it goes home, needs a cleaning. Needs a cleaning. All right, Roxy, let's show, show them what we're doing. Okay, so I kind of felt like the aerator wasn't doing um, a very good job in the alfalfa field, okay, to be honest. It, I felt like it was really kind of tearing it up and being a little bit aggressive with what it was doing. Now, over here where it's really dry and compacted on this grass ground, you guys can see, Roxy, stop. This is, okay, you're gonna have to quit. It's, it's going down knuckle deep. Uh, nice clean cut here. Not bringing up a whole bunch of soil trash. Keaton said he was just about done where he was at. So he's actually going to um, swap and come here and then I'm gonna be leaving and leaving this with him. But <laughs> need to get this off there. So I got that off the blade, but you can see, I mean, it, it's knifing pretty good there. That one's real deep. Quit, rocks. You're not helping. Guys, healers. Can you move? You're too much help. Come on. Get out of the way. Hi. I love you too. Come on. No. Just want to show the people what we're doing. Here. So here's a... I mean, it's size of my hand, deep space. Another one. Okay, you're too much help. Can you get in the tractor? Just get in the tractor. Okay. All right, let's go. I don't know if it's because she's a female or a puppy or what, but I swear. I'm not sure how well you can really see it from like the cab where it's breaking it up out here. It's a little bit you can see. I'll have to get the drone out tomorrow. I was just so excited to be back to work that I literally forgot everything. And I'm bouncing around so I'm not giving you guys a very good balanced angle either. But we have lots of acres to cover, like 500. 
So this is pretty much what I'll be doing all week. Um, Jason told Keaton that he was going to uh, go to school and then I was going to work all day in the aerator and then when Keaton got home, we would switch so I could get some other stuff done and then he would work till dark. So that's kind of, that's kind of the plan. Jalen ran up, she's at the cow barn playing with Lucky, the little bottle calf. She uh, has kind of taken him on as her own. She really wants to show him for the 4-H amongst the bigger show calves. So we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> Morning, happy Tuesday. It's a beautiful day. I think it's gonna be close to 70, 75 even today. What, do you need some lungs? Hmm. Hmm. I know, I've been gone. You know, just happened to love with the baby. With the babies. Yes. Kitty is so mistreated. Isn't she? So mistreated. Okay, I have to go. Um, we actually have some special guests coming, so I want to get back. Um, I gotta go feed Lucky Bear and get him taken care of. He is quite the drinker. I don't know if I told you guys, but he is, he's blind, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is, so. See, I don't have to pack my lunch yet. I'll come back and do that. Um, what? Oh, you want some water. Hold on. I also have some exciting news. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this very well on the silver in the lighting, but I'm sending off my box of goodies to Allison, and we are also launching these nice um, logo cups with all our socials on them. They will be available. Um, I don't know. I need to call Allison, but she's awesome and uh, pretty excited about all that because she's doing all our stickers, and we may even release a couple of designs if I can get all my crap together, but first... I need some coffee, um, protein shake, more water, and I think that's it. So I'll see you at the farm bar. I guess I could have done it um, while I was on with you guys, but I pretty much just cheated today and uh, combined coffee, protein, into deliciousness today. I've been really trying to work on my um, eating habits going into hay season to feel the best of me. So let's go. I mean, doesn't everybody run around with mineral in their uh, truck? Oh, and uses a hydro jug for their uh, milk pitcher. Lucky, lucky bear. I need to clean up over here so bad. Lucky, hi baby, come on buddy. Do you want to get up? See how he just like reaches for the sky with his tongue? Come on, bud. But you're so cute. Come on, honey. Get up. Come on, don't be lazy. Come on. Do you need help? Hmm? Do you need some help? Disney's just the cutest. He's so fun. sweetheart. Hi. Hi, mama. Hi. Yes. Hi. Hello, everybody. Okay, come on. Let's go eat. Come on. Come on. Now, mind you, Storm's not been messed with. Actually, nobody's been messed with since, um, that's my bucket. Um, before I had surgery, there's nothing in there, Shiloh. And, uh, yes. I'm gonna try to pull him up this afternoon and get him back in shape. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Good boy. Okay, kids. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> what? There's nothing in there, buddy. You ate it all. You ate it all. I'll be back. And here I was worried that I wouldn't be, be able to catch him. Okay, I have to go to work. I will see you later. <laughs> yes. <laughs>
I see you later. So I kind of thought today was going to go a little bit different than it is. Um, Loft was out with um, some folks to look at the 1842S this morning. Then we ate lunch. Jason's wanting to get this lime spread and he needed the buggy brought over and the skid loader. So obviously it took two of us to run over here. So I figured, well, since I'm over here, might as well uh, catch some footage in the cart. Uh, last week, you guys seen uh, Jason spreading a lot of lime. We're still spreading lime this field. Um, we just acquainted it, got it. He's gonna be getting in, so I kinda need to be, I guess, I can get myself a little bit more prepared here. My pillow here. I thought maybe I would try to lay down on the bed of the, uh, on the skid loader, but it's kind of windy. So. I'll probably just ride with Jason for now. It's only gonna be, I don't know, a few bucket loads. But in all seriousness, it's gonna buzz because I don't have it set. The parking brake set. Safety first, guys. Safety first. Anyway, we're going to spread lime. Um, if you missed it, we have a BBI cart. It's a Liberty cart by Salford Group. We um, were very blessed to be doing this demo with them, this, this partnership, because we've needed to spread lime for so, so long. But as a um, small farm where your acres are really kind of small and tidy, tiny, uh, it's hard to get the guys, um, our local co-ops to do it because it costs so much for us on the back end. Lime is one of the cheapest things you can do for your fields. Uh, soil sampling, knowing your pH level. Uh, we have very acidic, acidic, I think that's how Jason terms it, um, light ground soil. So to fix that and correct those pH levels, you have to add lime. So we're doing the lime we're working the dirt, adding the fertilizer. This is going to be where we put in our new alfalfa stand. Jason's not crazy about planting spring alfalfa. He really, really likes to do it in the fall, but we just got this land. Um, cat, we're gonna rent it uh, not very long ago. I wonder where he's at. I don't know where he went. Maybe he's looking at something. Or he could be pacing on the phone for all I know. But we're gonna ride along. Um, I really should probably should be resting, but we're on the downhill stretch of rest and recovery, I have a feeling. And I will probably take the afternoon off whenever Keaton gets home. I thought I was gonna aerate, but I haven't got that done yet today. There will be always tomorrow. So, yep, that's where we're at. I would say he's on the phone. Let's see, what else can I talk about? Um, the 6S is at LOF. It came in, it got, uh, it came through port. It has to go through LOF and it'll get its final like adjustments and tweaks. And then hopefully she'll be here later this week. It's a 6S 165. I don't want to give away too much until she gets here. Then you guys can see it for yourself. But we had to get a bigger tractor for another piece of equipment that we purchased. Do you guys know what it is? Did you watch the farm show video where Jason dropped all the um, equipment, new equipment that's happening in 2024 on our farm? Oh yeah, he is definitely on the phone. He is pacing. Guys, this is what he does. He paces. Like, I don't know if you can see him. <laughs> Scratching his head. Thinking. I always know that when I can't see him or he's pacing like miles, he's thinking. He's got his thinking cap on. But I don't know where he left off at this field, so it's not like I can just run off and just go do it. For him. 
just got this seat all screwed up. You guys, I let him borrow my tractor, which I guess is really not my tractor anymore. It will probably be his tractor. Um, but all the settings are a mess. Um, he changed some of the um, override settings. And like when I used to break to neutral, when you get to 3A, you can't go down to like 1A because he's changed it. He likes to just get in and go. And it's a 9600. Yeah. We tried that. We tried that, but we just, we love what that right there. The 190? Yeah, well, I sent you a picture of it. That's what we love. Yeah. Okay, okay. All I right. didn't do any, very much videoing here. I don't think I did at all, honestly, because Jason and I were just talking and, you know, talking plans and thoughts and all these different things. So we uh, just got done liming this whole new ground. Um, it'll be 80 acres of alfalfa. They kind of talked about that a while ago. I don't know why I'm worried about getting over like he is. I don't have a trailer behind me. I always forget that you can like bump here. I was trying to like two hand it, but. I was running that deer yesterday and realized today how much I miss my classy massy. Uh, just little, little things like, you know, the comfort of the seat, the act, you know, the suspension in the tractor, in this tractor over the 120, um, just a back hurt yesterday, really bad today. I kind of got a little bit jostled just because I was sitting in the buddy seat, but even that seat is like superb. Uh, one of my main things I noticed yesterday between the two tractors is the way you clutch and shift. This is kind of like, I call it a bump shift. Um, it's power shift if that's the right word but you don't have to clutch and change ranges it's all at, at your fingertips everything you know talking on the phone You're messing with the radio just all of it is right there at your fingertips makes life just so much easier and safer and all the things I did tell Jason we needed to get some mounts going. He's moved the screen in here a little bit to just, you know, he's been running this tractor for the last several, several weeks. He planted with it, those oats while I was gone. Hold on, he's calling. Oh, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow.